My name is Karen Pollard and I'm a senior lecturer here in the Department of Physics and Astronomy at the University of Canterbury. Um, yeah, I've been here since 2001 as a, as a lecturer here. I'm an astronomer, so I do teaching and research in physics and astronomy. And uh, so I have a number of lecturing courses I do in introductory physics and I teach the modern physics part of that at the moment. And I also teach introductory astronomy and some senior courses in astronomy. So in terms of my research, I have a number of research projects I'm working on. Uh, I've been involved in um, the microlensing search for extrasolar planets, and that involves observations from all around the world. I got involved in that when I was a postdoc in South Africa. And uh, my main research area recently has been called The Music of the Stars, which is uh, research work on astroseismology, which is looking at uh, stars and the way they pulsate. They don't pulsate in a standard um, way that they keep their spherical symmetry, but in very odd ways so that they change shape and they're no longer a sphere. And we call that non-radial pulsations because of they change their shape in this strange way. So astroseismology is looking at these oscillations or these pulsations of stars and by analysing the frequencies, the way that these stars pulsate, you can work out the interior structure of the stars and that tells you all sorts of things about um, what the stars are made up of, the interior structure, which you can't actually see, but you can infer, and it also tells you about the evolution of the stars. So that's um, what I'm currently interested in and working on and I have lots of students working in uh, various areas of astro-seismology of stars. Most of the stars I'm looking at are similar to the sun. They're a little bit bigger and brighter and hotter, but um, those are the kind of stars I'm interested in. It's exciting, it's interesting. I've always been interested in uh, science and maths. Uh, when I was probably about nine or 10, my parents bought me a little telescope and I used that to look at the moon, look at eclipses of the moon, to look at the moons of Jupiter. You can do all those things with the pair of binoculars or a small telescope. That got me interested in science and astronomy and thinking about the universe and why we're here and are there aliens and all sorts of interesting big questions. So I've always been interested in astronomy and looking at pictures of planets and stars and galaxies. And so uh, I've always enjoyed doing science and maths, so it's sort of seemed natural to apply the scientific work that I enjoy uh, to objects as interesting as the stars and galaxies in the universe. I'm from Christchurch, so I'm from this city. I uh, grew up here and went to school here and did my bachelor's degree here. I went overseas and did a vacation scholarship in Australia, but I came back here to do my PhD. Uh, and then once I'd done my PhD, I got a postdoc in South Africa, so I went to the South African Astronomical Observatory for three years. It was an interesting time. In 95, Nelson Mandela had just come to power. There were all sorts of changes going on in South Africa, so it was very interesting to see the country changing there. Um, and uh, I was at a research institute there, so there were lots of telescopes to use and lots of different people working on lots of different subjects. So I did a few different things there. And then I came back to New Zealand for a few years on another postdoc, and then I went to America. My husband got a job at the Hubble Space Telescope Science Institute, so I got a job nearby teaching at a college called Gettysburg College, and that was really good. The people there were very nice, and they had a really good undergraduate research program. And then my husband and I both got jobs back here at the University of Canterbury in 2001, so we've been here since then. Um, carrying on our research and using the facilities here, particularly the Mount John University Observatory. Uh, I use a lot down at Tikapo, which is a great site and has some great telescopes and instruments there that um, I do most of my research on. Another thing I like doing is outreach, uh, science outreach, going out to schools and talking to people. Um, every year we run the Aurora Astronomy School and I enjoy meeting the students and seeing enthusiastic people wanting to study astronomy. Um, I like working with my graduate students. It's always very nice when uh, they send you thank you cards or little things to say what they're doing these days. Um, and uh, I like, uh, yeah, that aspect of bringing science to the public and public outreach and, um, and 
Mount John's a part of that too. We have lots of people come and see the, see the skies at Mount John. Uh, we used to have a telescope in the art centre, unfortunately in the earthquake that uh, got destroyed. But we have, the, um, we have the lenses in the telescope and we want to restore that telescope and use that telescope for public outreach again. So I think that public outreach is really important, getting the public interested in science, telling them about our research and uh, doing those, yeah, those, those talking to people, school kids, um, older people, just, just letting it, our science, it, letting it be out there and let, letting people know about it. I enjoy doing that.